Zurab Tabvaritsi versus Petro Maharins. As most of you guys know, Zurab ended up breaking his arm a little while back. It was the same arm that this match took place in, and you could see that showing a little bit in the very first round. Zurab either missed the go, or maybe he was just a little bit hesitant in applying max force, and he kind of gets flash pinned, and he looks like he didn't really know what happened initially. Maybe he thought there was some sort of jump start, but it did look like he had a little bit of nerves coming back, and you can't really blame him since he is coming back from an arm break that certainly would be pretty terrifying. But unfortunately for Zurab, we see pretty much the same thing in the later rounds. From Petro, we always saw this very consistent kind of high hook. He would maintain pronation, he would bend his wrist, maintain shoulder commitment, and just go sideways straight to the pad. So the match did go inside, it wasn't a hook, but you could tell that there was still quite a bit of pressure in the hands, and Petro had a very solid connection to his arm power, but Zurab didn't quite have that same kind of connection. Zurab wasn't able to get into a deep hook, although it was inside, he wasn't able to access all of his power because of the high hook from Petro. Zurab never looked totally comfortable, but Petro looked comfortable the entire time. We see the same thing once again in round 3, Petro with the easy high hook and he just kind of rocks Zurab down to the pin pad and he ends up taking this thing 3 to 0. So awesome effort here from Zurab, great attempt for his first match back from that arm break, and as for Petro, that was very very impressive, I think he did everything just about perfectly, he maintained every single fundamental, he never had a moment where he looked to be in trouble in any lane whatsoever. I think the future is still bright for Zurab, and I'm excited to see who they'll put Petro up against next.